think you're too loyal. I think you do too much for someone who don't do shit for you, girl. And that's for real. That ain't the way love's supposed to be. But you say he's the one for you. One for you. I'm Samira. I'm 17. I'm a young Somali Muslim girl living in London. I do makeup part time. I feel like that's my way to express myself. I like to make someone else feel empowered. My mom came here in 1995, fleeing from the civil war in Somalia. My name is Zakaria Hassan. Um, yeah, I'm a normal 19 year old that's grown up in West London. My dad was offered a job at the BBC and as a result he came here to the country. I have a very big passion for journalism and um, when I was in year 10 we had a debate night. There was the co-owner of the Somali TV company and he said to me, how would you be interested in having your own show? I jumped at it. Imagine a 15 year old boy getting put live on TV, all these bright lights and you clock that you only have the confidence to speak Somali when you're in front of your mum and dad. Tribalism in the Somali community is a thing, like it's been here around for years and years and years. Sometimes people want you to be so attached to your tribe as if it comes before everything else, but actually no, you're not just your tribe. And so when you look at that you have to think about the fact that there are other issues that, you, that might affect you more. The whole tribalism comes from the fact the civil war, some tribes were fighting each other and that hatred to make like people flee, they bring it over and the older generation tries to enforce it on the younger people. You won't have a Somali uncle or auntie come up to you and say to you, what tribe are you from? But what you'd rather have is someone say to you, which city did you go to? Automatically he knows the difference between north and south. If I say a city in north, he knows that whichever city I went to really and truly, I'm probably from there. And you can be proud, but you have to acknowledge your privilege and know that other people don't have the same um, chance to be proud of who they are because they're so worried about how they'll be treated. It's about understanding where it's useful, where it's not useful. وقد خلقتك من قبل ولم تك شيئا قال رب جعل لي آية قال آيتك أن تكلم الناس I love my identity but in society and the way we have been perceived being black, being a female, being Muslims right now racism and Islamophobia is at its peak in years I was coming back from school, I was already like quite tired. Then a, like an older male turned around and was like, can you keep it down, you black packy? And no one turned around once and said anything. My family's been here since like 95, 96, and we're still not on a census form. Like, yeah, are we really acknowledged as that. Somalis? So where do we even fit in? So we went through the schooling system. We went through like the fact that people don't think we're black. We have to go through Islamophobia, which they didn't go through in Somalia. Yeah, they but, didn't go through that. And we didn't even, they didn't go through the hate the Muslim day. My mum, she wears the um, veil. Um, she wears the niqab, so um, she must have been taking me to school one morning. As we were crossing the road now, a uh, mini van accelerates towards me and my mum. It wasn't accidental because he steered towards us. And I think that's the time I clocked that there was actual Islamophobia. The children we have today, mashallah, beautiful in their own ways. Um, they look Somali, but they don't think Somali. Uh, so I always say they may look like us, but inside them, there's an energy that's driving them. And we need to understand that. Uh, and we need to listen to them more because they have the solutions, to be honest with you. They, the young people I met, I, honestly, they, they are amazing. At the anti-tribalism movement, our vision is to have a society that's free from tribalism, both here and back in Somalia. And if we can get past this, I think the future is bright for Somalis all over the world. ATM, what it does stand for is the anti-tribalism movement. So it's initially there to do what its, its name is. The ATM um, gave platforms and dialogues such as Debate Night. They host events to make people aware of like all these situations.
to, in our communities, tribalism, knife crime, mental health. They push for it to not be another mistake that we don't learn from. As young British Somalis, we need to tear down the barriers around tribalism. The problems that we face, only we can change, and we can only change that if we're all one.